This is a problem. Here's a solution to a problem you don't have because I don't have tiny hands. Hi everyone, this is Kirby. Welcome to the Real Game Score Podcast. This week I'm joined by Matt. Howdy. And Cameron. Hello. Here at Real Game Score, we like to discuss all things Xbox, achievements, and the numbers Queenstown. What do they mean? This week we talk about Forza Hobbit Edition, the unexpected tourney, how confident we are that listeners will return, and okay, oh, out of nowhere. But first, here's the song of the week. 2 a.m., day after shutdown, the servers have closed down for good. I couldn't get the last achievement. My tag is scarred and I am numb. Servers down and the lobby's empty. One more game that I'll never complete. Servers down and the lobby's empty. So I assume, uh, due to technical difficulties, you guys checked it last week. Uh, and actually looked at it. Potentially. Or, I mean, you, yeah, yes, you okay. definitely would have, Matt would have got it. I did get it, Cameron, yes. did you check the answer? Uh, I, I did check the answer last week. Uh, okay. Because we didn't have technical then. difficulties at the start of the podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so I assume, Matt, you definitely know it. I, I do know it, yes. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, considering Cameron's already seen the answer... Uh, it's oh, now I'm gonna get the artist wrong. It's closing time by Semisonics. No, no it is not. No. We've already done that song. Oh wait, hold up then. Matt did that song. Wait. And this, this is a yeah, trivia fact. Oh. Matt did that song on the first oh, episode that he came on as a host. Oh no, I sing this song all the time. That was dumb. That was so dumb. <laughs> no, I def- yeah. Okay, everyone can call me out for being dumb. That's um. Oh, I don't know the exact title. I know it's Ben Folds 5, yeah, there Brick, you go. or She's oh, a Brick. Brick. Yeah. yeah, it's Brick. You got yeah. it. Good job. I feel bad because I sing that all the time. <laughs> yeah. About Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's he's a word that starts with P and rhymes with Brick. <laughs> yeah. And I'm drowning slowly. Yeah. That's how it goes. <laughs> oh, Forever loved on wow. this podcast, I was going to say, we're going to play Strange Brigade at the end of the week, right? And then I'm sure we'll, that song will probably make an appearance. I genuinely I sing that all the time like I actually do in parties I feel really dumb that I uh, thought it was a different song in- <laughs> wow okay um, alright well yeah, we'll, we'll, just- we'll, we'll, we'll give you that one we'll give you that one we'll move past that quickly and pretend <laughs> we just cut that bit right oh, oh, I've, already, I've already edited it out in fact if you're listening yeah, to this it's already you, gone you, wouldn't have edited, you don't even know what I'm talking about clip of yeah. the week um, <laughs> if you have well I mean if you've paused it to guess in the discord then you don't need me to tell you to join the discord and, and you've already found out what the song is, so it's too late for me to tell you without uh, giving you a chance to guess. So it sucks to be you, but Nick, if you want to join us... I was going to say, Nick's probably bet everybody by now. He just screamed in the podcast channel. Oh, yeah. Mr. Mr. Mad Rokitansky has already screamed it, and then he's going to say, I got it before you guys said it. Don't worry about it. I know the I know songs, guys. I'm good. I got <laughs> this. paused it for a week, and then... <laughs> I, don't, I, don't be- I don't believe you for a minute, Matt. I know you just listen to it, listen to us, tell you what it is, and then say it in the chat. He's, he's holding up the Shazam right on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <every time. laughs> that that doesn't work anymore for, like, humming and stuff, does it? No, I don't it's think so. Not, yeah. I swear it used to. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe we've just gotten anyway. worse at singing. Yeah. Uh, Discord.io slash RealGameScore if you'd like to join the Discord. You can do so and have a little chat with us and talk about all the fun times and the news and whatever. You can go on. We've got silly stuff now. We've got a silly stuff channel where I can just post dumb memes and stuff I find on Twitter it's brilliant I love it it is genuinely there's some of my most favourite things is stuff I put there um, the, the, the reoccurring dinosaur segment I'm quite enjoying I, I love he's good on Twitter he's real good I love him so much just it's just real social awkwardness but as dinosaurs like um, <clears throat> yeah there's one that's like you have uh, bad social skills oh no it's okay to fix them you just need to go out and talk to people Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's so good. I love it. I feel attacked. <laughs> I mean, I'm in this picture. I don't is, like it's it. It's too real. Yeah, it's too real. Uh, if you would like to give us some money, 
you can do so at Patreon, patreon.com slash realgamerscore. Uh, we didn't do a drawing last week because of uh, issues. Have we done? I don't know why this is. I feel like we probably should have done it on the 6th. Did we? Nope. So, no, no. Cool. so just announce it. Uh, yep. That, uh, our winner for the month of last or this month or whatever is a ZZ Urban Spaceman. So congratulations. Woo. I feel like he can still win despite being... It's fine. He's not on the show. He's not on the show now, so that counts. Yeah, and he gives us money, so... Yeah, and he does. Like, it's not like he gives us money from the patron account. He doesn't pull it <laughs> he in. T- account, takes it, takes it, it out of one money. pocket, puts it into the other. You know how it goes. Yeah. The only person yeah. that does that here is Kobe. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I, I, I get <laughs> I, the emails, mate. I know when you pull the money out. <laughs> I know. I, just, I was like, when was the last time I pulled money out? Oh, pretty, pretty soon ago. That's uh, <laughs> not much in there. I'll just let that sit for a bit then. Okay. Uh, we also had a random to-do list contest last week. I don't. I remember the prize now. Rocket Arena, yeah. thanks to uh, our good friend Stephen. Uh, so the winner of that prize was Hack and Pwn. So congratulations. Contact me for your code. I've definitely not misplaced it. It'd be fine. It'd be fine. It'd be fine. It'd be fine. And but but like like I said on the episode that didn't go out last week. Make sure you badger Kirby about this because he will forget. I will forget. I'm almost certain there are people who have contacted me about prizes. I've gone, yep, as soon as I get home, and then I don't. He never gets home you, again. You, he never the gets message home. Is dead to me. <laughs> yeah. Like, badger me. I, I, and now I'm telling people, remind, remind me in three hours' time. Message me again in three hours' time. Yeah. And then they don't, so I feel like that's on them. I mean, to be fair, at that stage, they usually message me. Yeah, and I'm like okay. I'm like I understand. Like it's like they they always been like oh I don't mean to bother you. I'm like no I I totally get it. Don't worry about it. I got it. I got this. It's, it's not you. It's him. Yeah, it's it's a hundred percent Kirby's fault. Hundred and ten percent me. And it's not because I don't want to give you prizes. It's just I like my brain does not recall stuff that's important that I need to do. It's I get home, I play video games, and nothing else matters. Yep, that's welcome yeah. to the world. All right, so. Because we are trying to rework some things, the random to do con- uh, that, yeah, random to do list contest, as in the giveaway portion, not the actual random to do list itself, is temporarily leaving and departing. And we will again, we're thinking of new stuff to do. That's why we've got the word challenge. It's, we're going to come up hopefully with a couple more ideas of things to re- different fun ways to reward you, where you can still interact and it's fresh and new and not the same old, same old. Because we do see participation starting to die down, and that's okay. It gets like that, but we will hopefully have. We've got our best and brightest thinking of new ideas. I'm looking it's, at right it's, it's, it's not as, me. As soon as it's we find me. them, we will ask them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're working on it. We just don't know where they are. Top men, top men, all women. I mean, we don't know. Or bottoms. I mean, look, I'm not going to judge. I'll take. I'll take ideas from anybody. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, moving on. The real game is called Word Challenge. Now we haven't. We had a sh- small break for a week while we thought of a new word and did all that stuff, and then would have been on back last week, but you know that didn't exist. Uh, but before that, the word uh, was Lego Batman. That was the game, despite them stuffing up the clue. <laughs> look. Okay. <laughs> look. My, actually no. You know, I, I've got nothing. I got nothing. It was one hundred percent my fault. I misread the thing completely and screwed it up. Which makes it even more shocking that someone got it. Yeah. I mean, to, well, to, to, to be fair, clues to be fair, the, yeah, we to, yeah we'd given them a lot of clues, and at that point, their strategy was just spam the chat with everything that fit, like working working down the TA games list, basically. Basically, it's their reason they have a slow warning now. Yes. That's why there's a slow mo. That's exactly right. I do feel really bad for um, Jay Black getting so close on week one. So it's, close. Look, it's it's okay. He'll win. He'll win the next competition for sure. He'll just win the next. We, we won't have even announced it, and he'll guess it. He'll just be like, "I feel like you guys are going to use this this week." We haven't put out the show. <laughs> How did you get it? What? Can you please tell us where we can invest in your mind reading technology? And so basically, um... what what stocks are good for the next <laughs> next year? You just want to throw some names. You didn't even have to be right. Just throw some names. We'll blindly follow you. Um, but yeah, he he guessed 
my 90 second completion which is a perfectly valid line of thought except that it was matt's 90 second completion yep so he was he was scarily within the ballpark and i was having panic panic attacks when i saw him <laughs> guess that oh anyway we've got a new word for this week oh well this i say week it could last longer than a week we don't know uh the clue though is that the game well that's another clue is that it's a game the game is in a trilogy i wanted to make sure that the game so it's not the trilogy itself like as a whole it is a game within a trilogy and that's it's it's exactly three right Yes. Three, yeah. You, yes. Main... You, there are three. There are three games in, in the series. There yes. is, as of time of recording, there is three games in the series. Yes. Yeah. So it's not, for example, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, because there are four, including the remaster. You, you know what I mean? So yes. It, it, yeah. It, it, this is a very simple, straightforward clue, rather than some sneaky one. With it's no this technicalities. Is, it is very much just a trilogy. A game in a trilogy. Exactly three. Yeah. <coughs> Easy. Easy. Ten dollars. Jackpot. Jackpots every time we add a clue. You silly, silly men. It's all going. Anyone can win. Uh, moving on to the news. And I feel... To, the thing is, we've got this. But I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Unless... I don't know. I, I don't know if what I saw was... Pretend. I, I look. I, I want to hear it. Like I'm. I'm. Look. I want to go. Curious. I want to go full Alex Jones on this. Like I want to hear the craziest conspiracy. No, here. it's not even that crazy. It's just okay. So, um, Xbox ANZ tweeted out a picture. Is it a picture? Yeah. Um, of coordinates. Mm-hmm. I don't know what which one's longitude, which one's first latitude, the, lat, longitude. lat than long. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So it's, yeah, basically forty-five. My, it's minus forty-five. Minutes. Minus forty five point zero three three and one six eight point six six, which is vaguely near New Zealand. <clears throat> it's in New Zealand. It's in Queenstown, actually. Down oh, on, it's in Queenstown. It's in, down on the South Island. I've actually been to that to where those coordinates are. It's uh, one yeah. of the sort of tourist hotspots. All right. Yeah. Cons- going full conspiracy theory. This is where they're setting up near Master's Monument. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, mate. Mate, he, yeah, exactly. They're, they're gonna fly me down. It's gonna be an unveiling and everything. I cannot wait. It's it, it'll be it'll be like that Ronaldo statue though, and it won't look anything uh, like me. He's he's already he's already won like the Hall of Pass like four times over. They're like Hall of Pass. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's my, my favorite competition. My, <laughs> my brain is the fried Hall of Pass, where your weeks. girlfriend allows you to play any Xbox game you want. I mean, I, I, I do Hall have that. Pass. Yes, I do play. Yes. I will play any trash. Um. All right, being serious though, New Zealand coordinates. Yeah, what is this map? Um, I mean, like, what could it be? Like, Queenstown is kind of a weird spot for them to like. Are they are they doing an event? Are they doing like? Is this going to be like? Is this going to be their like their? Are they going to do like a showcase, like a launch event there? Because it's going to be the first place on Earth to hit the tenth. I've I've heard a few rumors. I look. I don't know what's true. What's not. Uh, one was Forza Horizon having a Middle Earth kind of setting. Hmm. And that would be awful. It's like legit, like hobbits and stuff. <laughs> terrible. I mean, like Forza Horizon New Zealand, I'd be interested. I yeah. don't know why they wouldn't go the, to Japan. The beautiful but... landscape, not like hobbits. And dra- like I don't, I don't know. Maybe I know, that, I know maybe that. that would be fun. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just joking and, with that. Obviously, the, like, like I look, like, I would, I would a hundred percent have um, like the the. That would be the perfect bastardization of the Tolkien lore. Would just be like, look, mate, oh, it's, a, it's, it's it's Lord of, it's his more it's Lord of the Rings. You've got hobbits, you've got you know ring rates, and then suddenly just like you know, an F, an F, a McLaren just drifts around a corner, just runs over like a wow, bunch of orcs. The ring <laughs> exactly, yeah. Has go down. Just <laughs> um, oh. maybe, maybe number more. plate is small. Spalg, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Moving yeah. along from that, though, there was a Twitter user that retweeted this with, what if I've told you I'm closely involved in this? And mm. her Twitter uh, profile has director at Secret Studio announcing October 30th. Okay. So, it potentially could so, be a, uh, a, New, a New, New Zealand studio? Yeah, th- this um, 
saying that that same woman has Aaron Greenberg, Playground Games, and Forza Motorsport all following her. Right. Okay. So this could be like I, I, I joked when people talked about this. I joked in um, in the Discord that this was uh, Forza with boats for a Forza yeah. Hydro Thunder. Yeah. But, but I'm, um, I'm, like I'm looking at the like I'm actually looking at the the coordinate location on Google Maps right now, and I actually remember when I was down there like the end of last year before before the pandemic before in the before times. Like I parked mm-hmm. literally yeah. like two minutes away from that. And I walked past it. And like, there's a few things on that, um, on that pier, but it, like, it seems like a kind of an odd spot to be that specific. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, I'm, yeah, like, like there's a. <coughs> Hon- honest to God, my bet is it is either a pre-existing studio. Uh, sorry, a studio made up of pre-existing mm. members, or it is a new studio that is going to be incorporated with Playground Games to work on Fable. Yeah, I can see that. That's my bet. Here's what I had seen on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Was a, and I don't know if this was like actually in it or if he modded it, but it's a bit the big Series X at those coordinates in Microsoft Flight Sim. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw that was good. Um, Press Start has a couple has a couple good rumors. Queenstown is being renamed Big Phil City. Yes, yeah, so you know what? Like, <laughs> I I really hope that that's the one. I mean, I, I, <laughs> that's brilliant I, like big phil city you know what like that would bring tourism for sure i would go to i would go back to big phil city mm-hmm. yeah uh giant xbox series x is going to fall from the sky in queenstown bringing thousands of parachuting xbox series x consoles with it i think that's too too risky genuinely like that's too much money potentially do you know what the funny the thing is about that though just like the thing that the, like i know that's absolutely ridiculous but the funny thing is that that pier where the location is actually does have yeah. is where the queen Ta- queenstown para flights actually like that's where you go and book oh. your para flights from and there's also oh, like a God. um like a jet boat tour that goes out from there as well so like there could be yeah like a, like this could be like a, like a bungee jumping xbox like i'll take anything i have no idea mm-hmm. um xbox series x shaped fridges are going to be popping up slinging energy drinks all over the place so didn't we have i i i would xbox love things with energy drinks and stuff yeah in australia uh... Yeah, I think so. Xbox, like that's familiar. Xbox energy drinks. Oh, not Xbox energy drinks, but like Xbox vending machines. Oh, yeah, that you yeah. could win I... Game Pass. Like you just used, and you could win Game Pass or energy or like Look, I, or something. I went through the. Um, I was going through a lot of the promotional videos for the Xbox Game Pass stuff from like 2018. And for, had, like, for completely unrelated through. reasons. Yeah, completely unrelated reasons, but um. I was gonna say they did have vending machines showing the Game yeah. Pass games on them, so I yeah, there's an Xbox Game Pass vending machine in Sydney. Huh. Okay, okay, with games and stuff in it. Because they've definitely done the claw machines before. Yes, yeah. yeah. Well, they had those with packs and stuff. Um, I mean, look, if if they bring out a Series X like shaped like drink fridge, I'll probably buy one. I like. I would love for them to. That'd go be real. That'd be like it. so dumb that I'd be like, I need to have that in my house regularly get it confused with the actual <laughs> yeah well, exactly. yeah. Yeah. um uh, i'm just i'm just trying to think if they would do anything with flight sim because i know that um oh uh, what's the uh what's the capital uh not capital but what's the uh town or city for uh richmond yeah uh you talking oh yeah you're talking about yeah um, the- Microsoft yeah. headquarters, yeah, they're in Richmond, yeah, yeah. in Seattle. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Um, having the giant uh, Xbox Series X and flight sim there. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know. I mean, but I feel like I feel like that's it's too, too small. Like, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's it's too small fish for the official account to be putting these coordinates out. I think a studio like it's, it's, a studio makes sense. Um, yeah. But what studios do you have down there? Well, none. That's the thing. Is like we don't really have it. Like New Zealand, oh. the, only, the only New Zealand studio that I know of is GameLoft. Um, oh. Yeah, oh yeah. The less said about them, the better. Um, so, like having like a, a really cool studio down in South Island would be awesome. Mm. Uh, I think Queenstown would be a really cool place for it. Uh, the <laughs> the other thing that I saw that is probably completely unrelated and coincidental is that uh, Gabe Newell is apparently thinking now. Uh, if you haven't heard the news, Gabe Newell has basically been trapped in New Zealand because he came here on holiday uh, right before the pandemic hit, and he hasn't been able to leave. So he's just been living here. Uh, and he's been talking about potentially moving Valve to New Zealand. And just being like, yeah, we'll just move out of the US. Don't worry about it. We'll just move to New Zealand. New Zealand's great. 
Yeah, I, I can't leave, so all of you are going to have to come here exactly. instead. Exactly, multi-millionaire Gabe Newell is just like, yeah, we're just going to move the whole company. Um, um, yeah. Sorry, going back to where I found the original link, uh, the original comment I saw, there aren't many studios in New Zealand. The one that uh, Microsoft could have links to is A, uh, sorry, A44, the oh, developer yeah, Ashen, Ashen, which Ashen launched on Day Pass. It's nothing to do with New Zealand studio, according to Xbox ANZ. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. They said incorrect. While Laurie is involved, this has nothing to do with that. Right. So, it, so it, it might be like a Forza. Like mm. to be fair, a new Forza Horizon announcement probably is not a bad idea. She is a Twitch streamer, um, or was a Twitch streamer at the very least. Does anybody know what she like? If it was, I have no idea. I yeah, I haven't watched a stream on anyone. For like ages. what content? All my streams have that really annoying token noise going on in the background that gets really distracting. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through her channel and see if there's anything that comes up. No, no idea. No. All right. So, so, so we have any idea when? <coughs> again, do they do they say when the announcement's happening, or is this just not that I can see? You're usually on about a, a week just, like that. Yeah. Th- as far as I'm aware, just the coordinates. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, maybe I'll just. Fly down to Queenstown for the week and see what happens. It's fine. It's with it, Alrighty then. But my hotels aren't massively expensive. Just Actually, <laughs> I'm flying flying back down to Wellington at the beginning of November, so we'll we'll see if that hits at the same Look, time. It's a it's a trap. Yeah, they're just trying to number two's trying to take over. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> it's all of, it's all, it's the long con. I'll come in there. I'll be wearing my hoodie. Then I'll know exactly who I am. Oh dear. It'll be it'll be interesting though once this gets announced. Like, mm. I mean, how often do they have any big news for New Zealand? <laughs> uh, Hall of Fame got announced to compete in New Zealand. Yeah, that, I is mean, true. that is that, that is true. <laughs> Aside from that, literally nothing. But yeah, you know. pretty much. Like, pretty much nothing's happened so far. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just you know, I'm just glad that we're on the map. Like, like yeah. so, someone <laughs> literally went onto maps without New Zealand. It was like we're just going to put the coordinates in for a New Zealand location. I, I feel like us complaining what like two to three months ago about how we always get missed out for everything. It's great. finally paying off. Finally, you know, it's squeaky wheel. It's, I'm I'm gonna take full credit for all of it. Now that Jez Corden listens, <laughs> right? Yes. Right, Cameron. Uh, assuming, hopefully. Hi, Jez. Jez, if you listen to us, just send us a quick tweet, like everybody else is doing today. <laughs> Join the competition. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure I can find it. <laughs> yeah. Just. <laughs> DM us. They're open. Are they open? I don't know. Yes, our DMs are Jez, open. Yes, if they you are. Very come... tr- Trimmy is aware that our DMs are open. <laughs> Jess, if you want to be on the podcast, let us know. We can get you on. We'll make I mean, it Cameron work. won't be on, but you can. That's We'll just swap them out. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Moving on. Uh, Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming coming to iOS in 2021 via browser workaround. Uh, I'd also like to point out the new update for the app is awful oh, terrible yeah it's just i don't I, I don't like it looks nice it's very pretty it's very pretty and sleek it has removed everything i would use the app for <laughs> yeah so what would you use the app for normally kirby uh i would use it to perhaps look at achievements i'm playing or achievement lists of other people so that i can uh help them out and see make sure that because I would use it on TA and be like, yes, you definitely haven't unlocked this. So, mm. like, yep. um, I would check store with it. I would, uh, I don't know if you can, you can probably do messages now still. I would, I would so. like, send messages on it. Let me have a look. Um, let's see, friends. I can I can do messages, yep. I can send messages, so that's fine. Uh, mainly achievements, though. I would mainly look at lists because that was easier to update than opening my guide, going to my achievement section, to usually when there's tracking I would check there and make sure things are going up. Um, interesting thing that you can do on it now is look at all the consoles that your tag is on and see how much space they have left. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I saw that a few weeks ago. That was pretty cool. Yep. Except I actually need to name the console so I don't see, like, five Xbox Ones. <laughs> Xbox yeah, but Xbox for one. some Xbox reason... One. Uh, uh, that, well, that must be an old one of mine, I guess. No, I don't know weird that one of them is I guess that's my old Xbox X no it's not because it just says Xbox One 11 terabyte free of 13 terabyte I feel like that's too many terabyte 
Yeah, or... are you sure that's uh, maybe a home console that someone else has? Possibly, but I... It seems weird. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. It feels really weird that that's come up. But I presume that one is yours. 18 gig free of 781. I mean, my one has my name on it, so... Yeah, yours is not in here, in my list. Oh, okay, alright. That's why I thought maybe it's yours. I have Interesting. A, I have a console from Fog. I have a console, his Series X. I have my Series X, my Cyberpunk X. Two Xbox Ones, and a guy in Canada I know. <laughs> oh, okay, alright. Yeah. I can make myself appear offline. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I feel like we've gotten way off track what we were supposed to be talking about, but that's because... This is way more devastating here yeah. than whatever that was. Yeah, so basically they've taken all the achievement function out of the, the new update, right? Pretty much. Like, you can't even go into a game and see the list. Wow, okay, that's helpful. That's, yeah. Yep. You can't... I don't, I, like, I don't know. You can't really... I think you can push things remotely to your console. Mm. But it's... Is this is this a positive thing in disguise? Is this Xbox trying to push us off our addiction? No. <laughs> no, it's just them hiding things that, that most people don't use. Yeah. Anyway, back to the actual <laughs> article. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I don't know anything about this article. So basically, um, on in the ongoing saga of Apple versus Microsoft in terms of uh, streaming games, as we've talked about in the yeah. past, Microsoft have having some issues getting... Uh, X Cloud now I think it's called uh, X Pass Cloud Gaming, getting cloud gaming yeah. running on iOS devices because Hall of Pass. It's Hall yes, of Hall of Pass. Pass. Sorry, Hall yes. of Pass. That's just it. Uh, it's been having some trouble getting uh, their stuff working on there because of some restrictive policies that Apple have put in place, essentially saying that streaming services of video games are not allowed on this on their platform uh, for. Basically, because of they, they they cite quality control reasons and um, uh, and some we like, we, so, we can't control the quality of the money that is coming <laughs> to us. Look, there might be some money involved, but we can't <laughs> can neither confirm nor deny. But basically, mm. um, it's interesting that you know Netflix and Hulu and other streaming uh, video services and music services like uh, Spotify don't have this issue. But when it comes to video games like Stadia and uh, cloud gaming xbox cloud gaming uh they seem to have some uh, some rerunning some stumbling blocks where the proposed solution that we talked about a couple weeks ago was that apple was like yeah you can totally have your streaming game streaming service on our platform all you have to do is download each game individually onto the uh onto your phone before you play it which defeats the whole purpose of streaming yeah uh so uh most recently uh, i think a couple weeks ago uh who was it? Uh, Amazon have come out with a new uh, streaming platform, a game streaming oh, platform yeah, called Luna. Luna yes, yeah, which Luna. runs to get around this is running on a browser-based uh, uh, streaming platform rather than having an app as such. And so it looks like Microsoft are looking to go in that same direction. So mm. instead of it running in your app, you basically just pull it up in a browser and it'll run natively on your Safari browser or whatever it is you use. Uh, which is yeah. not the best solution, but is a solution. Uh, but it also, I think, ties in quite well because at the moment, you can only stream to an Android device. You can't actually stream to a browser natively on your computer. So I'm assuming that that'll probably just tie in at the same time. They'd release that. And they're looking at that early 2021, I think, was the plan. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, along with I mean, I whatever other devices they get on there, I guess. I mean, I use an Android phone, so it doesn't really matter to me. But Yeah. So, and it, I mean... It, in that same vein, this new app does allow console streaming on the iOS. Yeah. So there is that. It's it's just the it. xCloud server rack streaming, yeah. Yeah. from not from a console you own, basically, that they're not allowing. Yeah. yeah. Feels like they're splitting um, hairs a little bit. It's very, mm. yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't know that there's too many games on there that I don't already own, and if I don't own it, that I would want to play. Sure. But that's not to say that it's not something that should be pushed forward it's just for me this specific case use case is, is low um, yeah, if they could integrate it into a browser that'd be good because then maybe I could do it at work 
<laughs> you can just run it on <laughs> any computer. Time. As long as you got a decent internet connection, it should be fine. That's what I mean. Go- like government internet is great, right? Computer. Yeah. Just, uh, whoa, why have you got an Xbox? In- I don't have an Xbox controller. I don't know what you're talking about. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Here's five bucks. Yeah, have some COVID. Go <laughs> away. <laughs> Do you want this? No, that's what I thought. Go away. No, uh, I mean, okay, can't ask Matt because he's got an Android. Cameron, are you a pleb with me? No, I got an Android. All right, I won't use this, <laughs> so none of us will. Great, great. Yeah, it doesn't affect any of us. But hey, you know, it's, it's 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 good that they're trying to find a solution. And apparently, Phil Spencer has come out and said that they're still working to get an in-app solution at some stage. I'm wondering if some money has to change hands, or you know, yeah, yeah. Maybe they should buy Apple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd, be the, that'd be the solution to the Windows Phone problem. I mean, to, to be fair, buying Apple would be the solution to a lot of problems, I assume. But, yeah. I, th- I think, I, I mean, to be fair, even if Microsoft could afford it, I can hear the antitrust lawyers uh, rubbing their fingers yeah. together, just being like, oh, here we go. Here <laughs> we go. This is, this is literally the ins- my entire life's work has led up to this moment. I miss my Microsoft Lumia phone. It was such good phones, in my opinion. I like my Windows 8 one. It was alright. Until it broke. Yeah. Thinking of a Google Pixel 5. I got the Samsung... What was it? 870? <clears throat> which is pretty good. Basically, it was like yeah. the previous model, but with a better battery. I got whatever the... I think it was Google Pixel 3. <clears throat> I've been using that for a while, and that's pretty good. I've heard good things about the Pixels. You can't really get them here in New Zealand, which is kind of a pain. You have to get them Did- imported. Yeah, I think it's the, quite cheap. The vibe is a thousand. It's not bad. I mean, it's like it's not cheap. But Given the new Samsungs are at thirteen hundred. Yeah, I mean, like mm. I was looking, like the ones I got was like the yeah. older generation, so like seven hundred fifty yeah. bucks. And the new iPhone seventeen Oof. or something like Jeez. that. Jeez, crazy. Yeah. Can I just yeah. buy a? Can I just buy like a iPhone eleven's uh, components and just put it in an iPhone S case? Uh, iPhone five. Okay, sorry. Just get the C oh, or whatever no. it is. Or, yeah, the, oh. the, you get. I guess it looks like fourteen hundred dollars for one hundred twenty-eight gig. Ugh, God, you know what? I'm I'm probably good with with spending half that and getting Look, twice I'm, the phone. I'm I'm happy with my eighty dollar plan for my for XL and unlimited calls. Yeah, I probably need a new phone. I'm like I'm using an iPhone seven. Oh mate, it's like, I think it's like five years old. Mate, does it, does that come? With, does this come with a rotary <laughs> dial on it? What are you doing? <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> My case does have a rotating <laughs> dial, but uh, it's not. It's just for holding, so I don't drop it on my face while I'm browsing Twitter at night. Yeah. Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter is what I'm browsing at night. With yeah. one I, I feel like that that was not only grinder. Made... Sounds similar, but no, totally different. I feel yeah. like that was only made for Kirby because he's run into this problem like five times in a row and just finally cracked it. I mean, look, that's no. You know why I got this case? I got this case because my ex bought it for me. Because she kept dropping her phone on her face. So she, she was like, this This is two. a problem. This is a problem. Here's a solution to a problem you don't have because I don't have tiny hands. <laughs> that is a thing. That's tiny it. hands just dropped phones on her face. Made for some awful times for her face. <laughs> uh, moving on, the Xbox Elite Series 2. Apparently there was a lawsuit involving Stick Drift over the Xbox Elite Series 1. Class action. Yep. Yep, class action. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Series 2 has been included. I Maybe not Stick Drift and maybe overall build quality. Uh, yeah, that was going to be my nice that was my point last week when we mentioned this. was uh, Yeah, it's like you pretty much want to get the extended warranty on this for sure. Yeah. Yep. I think they have automatically extended warranties to 12 months for US users. Because, um, I mean, it's default 12 months for us. Yeah. Uh, default two years, isn't it? 12 months on I, electronics, I think. I know for EB, mine was two years. Well, because, yeah. Because when I traded mine, uh, when I took my <laughs> faulty controller back, it was two weeks before um, it hit two years. And it was definitely faulty, 100% faulty. There was something seriously wrong with it, and I'm glad you got it replaced, and I don't I, have to edit out you basically stealing I mean my Astro headset couldn't work with it so yeah that's true that was completely faulty. broken definitely faulty one of those two products was definitely faulty or bo- no, both. <laughs> both both them. Uh, quite both possibly both, both of them yes faulty. it was almost both. certainly both yeah 
Uh, yeah, th- th- basically, I think just wanted to put this in there to be like, yeah, the um, the series two, ex- well, the elite series has had a real rough run in terms of build quality, just all the way through it. Yeah, I've heard nothing but, but I mean, bad things. I feel like stick drift is an issue for everything, and yeah, like mm. any heavy users for sure. Specifically, is kind of like, well, you've got a controller. Event like th- that, there is no way to stop that. Yeah, mm. eventually no it breaks how, down. No matter how well it ba- uh, is built that stuff eventually breaks it's i guess it's within the short period of time yeah there's a reasonable again, reasonable to... expectation of that the stuff lasts yeah. especially considering yeah. how long you know how, how expensive it is and, and sort of the yeah. the yeah. premium market that it niche that it fills yeah but the, the number of hours i think is probably also something that should be taken into account mm. rather than just like day because i mean i would certainly use an elite controller a lot more than a regular person in the same mm. amount of days for sure in terms of hours just because that's my life yeah um just I get bored and i just watching tv and just spinning those sticks trying to build up some drift you know it's all i do um wait you oh, need apparently. to get into the forza games no not not happening i played forza horizon 2 played forza horizon 3 I'm not doing horizon 4 Smarter than that. Oh, so that's probably a smart decision. Then. Yeah. What about Horizon Five when it hits New Zealand? With the, what, I mean, look, look, look. If wards? if it if it doesn't have orcs in it, like I'm I'm not interested. Like, like if if it isn't like the 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 uh, the end of the race is actually the two towers and you have to race between them to get past the finish line. Like then I'm not interested. If, okay, like that's that, that's the prerequisite. <laughs> Screaming, you shall not pass. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And, like, the trophy has the Eye of Sauron on it. Like, it needs to be, like, a full, like, LARPers, like, worst nightmare slash, like, wet dream. Yeah. Hey, they just need... They, Microsoft just needs to buy, you know, Warner Brothers Studios, and it's all gonna... It's all it's gonna, gonna come gonna full be, circle. It's, like, it's gonna be the crew 2 all over again. It's gonna have... It's gonna have the Eagles. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I can't think of any... It's gonna have water horses. Sure, just, Yep. Yep, yep, those yep, that were in that, that one moment. Yeah, in that Rivendell. I can't really yep. think of any other, uh, like aside from boats. I'm trying to think of animals. I mean, they didn't do a lot of water stuff. No, the hobbits can't swim very well. I guess. No, I mean, especially at the end of Fellowship. Yeah, and it didn't go well for them. Yeah. No, certainly not. Um, yeah, I don't know how I can get in on this class action because I certainly want my twelve cents, <laughs> which I assume is what the payout will be. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 That, 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 or they'll just send you a new stick, but you have to assemble it all yourself. What, what did Tarragon get with his? He was part of the class action lawsuit for the, the Red Rings? Honor. Honor for his family. Yeah. I think you got like five bucks, right? Yeah, something like that. Did he? Okay. I, can't, I can't remember if it was the Xbox 360. It might have been. Uh, for what? Red Ring? Red Ring. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Oh. Once, the, once all the lawyers got paid. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. So you you can expect your twelve cents in like ten to fifteen years. Yeah, easy. Okay, uh, what a what a beautiful game this was. Marvel's Avengers, which <laughs> as, I mean, as we're all surprised, sort of died down quite qu- quickly and was not performing very well. I'm genuinely shocked. Yeah, this is this is my surprise Pikachu coming. face. Yeah, I was so surprised to hear that. Like, there wasn't even enough numbers to start a multiplayer game on the PC. Mm-hmm. And it died faster than Anthem did. Yep. What a shock. Yep. Um, Crystal Dynamics have vowed to add more content after listening to fans concern... Fan... Uh, fan. Sorry, fan concern. One fan, one concern. <laughs> um, about the lack of end game content and seeing player numbers dwindle. Only one left. He's like, can't really do any of this by myself, guys. So they're adding more. I'm sure they're going to just add more solo content, right? Solo raids. Yep. yep. Or you play. Maybe uh, you AI play team Avenger. Be nice. <laughs> Marvel Avenger. Marvel Avenger. The one Marvel. They just. That's all. The, in all of the dialogue, they drop any plurals. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> it. It's, it's that's like it. yeah, in no multiple characters. It's just one person monologuing to themselves the whole way through the game. Yeah. It's basically just Deadly Premonition, except with a licensing agreement. Yeah, speaking of licensing, I can't imagine this will last very long. No, especially considering um, 
their next content that they announced, which was going to be uh, Hawkeye, the two Hawkeyes, uh, mm-hmm. Kate Bishop and uh, Clint, Clint. Uh, have been delayed. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And now that they're putting out a thank you bundle as a sign of appreciation, which <sighs> you get a bunch of crappy currency. Huh. Uh, Marvel's Avengers launch was not without turbulence, and we recognize that a number of issues detracted from your enjoyment of the game. This is not aligned with Crystal Dynamics. Like the game, I, I feel like the game detracted. <laughs> yeah, like I, I think I think the number the of issues were basically the entire setup and payoff for the whole game. Could you could you say there was a web of issues? Uh, you could do, but Spider Man oh, wasn't. Spider Man wasn't in it though, so it was yeah, okay. exactly. It was only on the PlayStation. Could you say that legally? Yes. So you shut up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna. Have, I have to edit that out. I have to bleep that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. So it looks. It looks bad. It does not look well. I mean, I'm just reading through it. Yes. Uh, yeah, more content. Um, yeah, like, there's nothing to this game. Will you will you pick this up when it's $5 at EB when they're closing down? Shop? No, because the servers will be shut down. Yeah, true. Yeah. I mean, the servers that's... will be dead, and EB will still be trying to flog it for 5 bucks. Yeah. It's, um... It's just... I mean, I mean Anthem know, servers are still up, it'll, yeah? It'll be on Game Pass at some stage, right? Yeah, Anthem is run by EA, who have oh, at least God, a I bit of money I'd... to throw at a server. I was going to say, I better get that completed then. Yes. <laughs> this, is, this is Square. That's EA. How quickly did Square drop their Final Fantasy XII? Oh, yeah, that Comra- on, on Fa- consoles. Comrades least. went down pretty quick, yeah. Comrades went down super quick. Final Fantasy XII? Uh, 13, not, 15, not 12, 11, sorry. Yeah, well, I was going to say Comrades, but yeah, 11 dies pretty well, yeah. quick on consoles. Oh, yeah, they, they axed it, yeah, on the 360. Yeah. Oh, was it? I, I, this is, that was in the before time. It's a long time. It was a long time ago yeah. in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah. Uh, in our nearly 30-year history, Crystal Dynamics has never shipped a game under conditions like these, from working from home to avoid a pandemic, and some of us evacuating our homes to save stuff for Wild Files. Like, I get it. It's yeah. There are some challenges in 2020, but... If the, maybe you if, shouldn't have released. Exactly. If the game's but not done, also, don't release it. You kind of have to because it's yeah. not really your call. Sure. But it doesn't look good. It does like, not look good. Yeah. And it's green. It's going, you said this date. It is now this date. We're just going to release the game because you said this date and we've promised this date and we are not liars. <sighs> look, even if it had all the DLC content in it, I just can't think of it being an interesting... Like, it, there are some problems with the core design of the game itself. That no yeah. no amount of extra polish I think would have really saved it. Like it, like it doesn't really matter how much content you throw at it if it's not varied or interesting enough. Like there there are there are core aspects of the gameplay that just really, really just ruin it. Yeah. Um, I give it. Oh, no. It it just would have done, and I get why they didn't, but it would have done. So well as a sing- like if it, as a single player or mm. online co op local co op non live service title yeah a, a, lo- a non live service title that came out basically as soon as Endgame was out of theaters yeah yeah and because you know we've had that Marvel lull just did that Infinity War sort of saga story. sure it doesn't matter yeah just redo the yeah re- redo all the stuff you've already seen in the movies you don't need writers just people will enjoy that I look like oh my god I'm doing the thing I saw. But like I saw Spider Man in the movies and no no, no he he actually yeah, no, he, he didn't feel so good no yeah exactly yeah he he, uh, he didn't actually come back with the snap so uh, okay it's fine yeah. so yeah. we're just doing End Game we're just not doing oh, yeah no, yeah exactly it goes up to End Game and then just like yeah actually yeah Spider Man just disappears he doesn't show up in Civil War either the um it's actually it's actually a totally unrelated character who who web slings the Angela boy yeah exactly yes exactly notoriously known for their spinning of webs. <laughs> Tarantulas. <laughs> All right, it's, it's the human oh, scorpion. <laughs> it's, I mean, scorpion. Anyway, no, I'm not. I'm not getting it. I'm not going to nerd out on this. That's fine. We're going to move on. Yeah. It's Ant Man. Wait, no. No, he's in, no. He's actually. He's actually actually a super. He's actually there. Yeah, no, yeah. it doesn't work. How? how Grasshopper okay, boy. How do you implement Ant Man as a as a character in this game. Like, it's just. It's, it's, do you then? Just have him shrink and do smaller amounts of damage. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, no, because well, part of it is that his strength is the same no matter what size he is, or it's like multiplied. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I get that, but it's also physics. Yeah, look, 
Just the, I mean, the look, fulcrum point. all you have to say is pin particles and you're fine. Don't worry about it. Just, oh, just, right. yeah, just yeah, hand yeah. wave the whole thing. Why don't you just get really big and crush them, pin particles? Pin particles, you know, yeah. I just can't do it, yeah. Yep. Yeah, he could solve so many problems if pin particles weren't just like stopping him. The MacGuffin. Are we done with Marvel? Oh, I mean, like, I I, I've been done are. with Marvel for several <laughs> years at this point. Like, let's. I mean, like, I'd love to play a Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Like, they really should just made this Marvel Ultimate Alliance 4 or 3, but not on the Nintendo systems, basically. 3, but for everyone. Yeah, exactly. But not Spider Man, yeah. obviously. Yeah. But. Um, no, of course not. Because, like, actually, I might actually go back and finish up Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1 because it's still a great game, even though it was, like, an old PS2 game. It's still, like, a great way to just go around and beat people up as, like, the best collection of Marvel superheroes I've ever had. Yeah, I played a... I mean, the, not that it's an uncommon format, but I played an X-Men game similar to that on my PlayStation Portable. X-Men Legends? Uh, brother, brother, brother... Oh, Legends yeah, yeah, player. yeah. That's the back... Because that, that, that was basically the prototype for um, yeah. Ultimate Lights. Yeah. And it was great. I enjoyed it. I liked X-Men a lot more than I liked Marvel, so it was fun for me playing uh, Wolverine. Basically, Wolverine's the best. He's great. He yeah. Healing factor makes it a, a lot easier. Indeed. Okay. Uh, that's basically news because is there anything? Uh, I mean, the only other thing was that like um, Phil, uh, Phil Spencer NBA Two K. Yeah. Once again, added yeah unskippable ads <laughs> in their game. <laughs> what a surprise! So wouldn't get hit by the reviews. What a shock! This is like five for five of their last most recent release look if so. you're if you're still buying the nba like the 2k series like that's on you at this point like you yeah. you should you should know what you're getting into <clears throat> yeah um yeah uh xbox game pass adding grim fandango day of the tentacle and full yep. throttle remastered yep i'm gonna play the hell out of those classic lucas last games and then hopefully stacks on the pc and oh yeah quite uh, possibly and, that'd be yeah. nice there was also it's something gonna be coming out anywhere or stacks there's something else coming out to Game Pass, uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, but don't have a date yet. No, they they they, they put that the, this week. Yep, this week sometime they put out a great image of a castle being sieged. October twenty second with some uh, cool, some siege towers and some rainbows and six of them. In fact, yeah, 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 that's great. Great. They they their, their, their Twitter more. game is very strong. It's um they are, they are really good on the socials. Yeah, I feel like they've hi- now that Fall Guys is dead, they hired the one Fall Guys <laughs> community manager or whatever. Yeah, they got it. Yeah. They, they got it on lock. I wonder if we can get him for our show. That's a good idea. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, and then apparently Phil Spencer thinks that cloud gaming for the Xbox One is a great way to bridge generations, whatever that means. So yeah, all right. Yeah. A bridged generation. He's basically saying that like, hey, that. Pe- it'll be a great way to get people playing Series X games on Xbox One by using cloud game using the cloud service instead of having to buy a new console. Yeah. 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 No, okay. We'll see how it goes. Cool, cool. Sure. Still early days. All right. All right. Uh, Matt, do you uh, who's done the least? Cameron's done the least. Go, Cameron. What? Yeah, oh. Cameron hasn't been playing anything. Oh, all right. Okay. So I guess this portion of the podcast is just going to be our journey through. Uh, Xbox Hall of Fame. Well, you know, Basically, you know, what Winston Churchill said, "If you're going through hell, keep going." All right, I've so just got top five and bottom five games from from what I played during the Hall of Fame. All right, so I'm I'm basically going to just start off with my game score for the week was 2002. I'm pretty sure last week was somewhere around 2100. What was your TA difference, by the way, for this week? Just uh, just <laughs> just question about that. I look, I look. We'll get to that. I'll okay. go. Was it positive? <laughs> it was just. <laughs> I think it was, it was I, all your I, I down. did some smart. It's fine. <laughs> I did some smart. Yeah, got okay, some, fair enough. You got a couple. Got of some wins. good points. Uh, did some sea of thieves. I uh, actually, I'll just I'll quickly comment on that. Uh, smart me, Valik, um, me, Valik, Mike. Uh, who else was there? Drowsar, Drowsar, and Matt for whatever reason, but not playing smart. I mean, look, I, look, I I got pulled into that party because I was told that we were all going to sing happy birthday to you. And yeah. then, and then, they, and then I, I promptly ran away. Yeah, and then you guys left. I was like, oh well, okay, I guess I'm just, whatever. I don't even know why I'm here then. Yeah, but um, Valak is the greatest. I posted on Twitter. Just Valak can do no wrong. Yeah, which I, again clearly means that you've you've been abducted, and this is your secret. Please, telling us. Please stop pointing the gun at me, Valak. Um. Anyway, moving on. 
So back on the 30th of September when we started this competition, I was at 875 games played. Mm-hmm. Over the course uh, up until the 18th of October, uh, actually, I'll, I'll do a few milestones. So 900 on the 1st of October, 1,000 on the 6th of October, 1,100 on the 11th of October, uh, 1,200 on the 18th, and 1,220 being my final tally yesterday. And this is why I say the games played is not a real milestone and we should just take it off, because this is ridiculous. <laughs> we only count it like every 250 games, so it's fine. Okay, fine. My completion percentage started out, from memory, approximately at 47.5% on the 30th of September. I have dropped down to 31.3%. Oh, boy. That's um, lower than me. <laughs> out of the... St- out of the list that Tarragon showed me that had most of the Game Pass games in it, uh, which was 658 titles, I got 592 of them marked off. That's ridiculous. Um, I marked... Uh, so I started... What would that be? I've, I've done 320, uh, 345 games. Uh, so I started at about 250, which is what I think Kirby has hit for Game Pass games. When I pulled his list? Sure. Why not? Cool. Um, Just want to say I didn't try, though. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. I, I, I know you didn't try. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I also realized that that list was missing six games, which I uh, added on. I went through a bit of a hunt yesterday looking up any Game Pass uh, material that has came on the last few years. A lot of the stuff that wasn't added was just like uh, there was WW2K17 listed, but 2K16 was the first one in. And got replaced by 2K17. Uh, it was F1 2015, but it got replaced by 2018. And I'm pretty sure 19 has been in there as well. Uh, Comic Zone. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons for 360. And another game that I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, just going through quickly. Uh, I'll just say my worst five that I did not enjoy at all. Um, NBA. I don't care for basketball. It was quite boring. Uh, football manager 2020, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Managing a football team. Absolutely no idea what I was doing. <laughs> just like, trying try to sell a player, just didn't work. Uh, like, just so many things that should have seemed simple, just didn't work for me. Uh, Mega Man 9, the easiest achievement in this, which I did not get done, was uh, killing a thousand enemies, or beating the game. It's just very back-ended uh, for... A, 360 arcade game uh, Lord of the Rings the card game which is leaving Game Pass on the 30th I believe or at least the end of the month um, two of the achievements that should have unlocked just didn't come for me the first two hours that I played for it I then went back to it and there was a achievement for drawing 50 cards which popped as soon as I started the game so I was quite happy with that Great. <laughs> um, Hello Neighbor is the worst game I have ever played it's bad it's real bad it is couldn't get an achievement until like three and just playing through that like it just so many issues biggest issue for me was actually figuring out the first 15 minutes trying to get a key out of the shed and then promptly throwing the magnet not once but twice into the shed because of the the controls probably not to swear but um yeah uh, best five that I definitely want to go back to, uh, Rage Two, absolutely amazing, like very beautiful and fleshed out on uh, Windows Ten. But I did both stacks. Another couple hours. Give it a, okay, fair enough. Um, as I, I think I mentioned a fortnight ago about my game share partner buying Ashen. Yeah. No, we. Ash, yes. Oh, we might have mentioned it last it week. Was last week. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I was in a party with my game share partner Adrian or Kiku. Uh, where he was basically just playing Fall Guys because he's addicted. And he said, look, if I win this, I'll buy action uh, with the DLC, which is $72 Australian. So I was like, look, if you want to do it, I mean, just, you know, see how you go. He won it and he's like, all right, cool, I'm just buying this. So I'm going to play that with him at some point now. From what I've played, it seems pretty cool. Mm. I really should have given him more attention when I was in Game Pass. Uh, Not a huge fan of the game score that it gives you, though. Uh, yeah, what was it? 14, 17, something like that? Yeah, it's got the a, completion? an uneven game score or whatever. It's just ridiculous. 13, 17, something like that. But um, yeah, popped a 17G achievement for killing a bunny. 
Uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2. I've never really cared for Resident Evil games. Um, Resident Evil Revelations 2, from what I played from it, seems pretty cool. And Biohazard seems pretty cool as well. Mm. So I do want to go back to them, but actually there's, being... There's f- more to that name. What? Uh, Biohazard uh, Resident Evil 7, something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, because there's a lot of Biohazard. Biohazard is literally Resident Evil in... It's the Japanese the title game. for it, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. So that's... Yeah, that's like saying yes. I also I played Resident Evil two and enjoyed it, and also enjoyed Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah. What? Which one? Um. Anyway, yeah. So I I actually want to go back and play Resident Evil games, which I was surprised about coming into this. There are some good ones. There are West of Dead. Seven again. Yeah, West of Dead, absolutely amazing. Um, like I loved every minute of it that I did play. What would? How do you describe this? Western roguelite. Yeah, twin stick shooter, roguelite. Uh, I don't know what the the mechanic is. Like but, um, they, they have, or, or twin stick shooters will have a mechanic usually. Yeah. yeah. The key mechanic. What is it? Uh, Gungeon was just, everything's a gun pump. Just, just cover. Like, just cover and hit. Okay. Roguelite. No. Like, definitely can't just rush through. Um, that sounds exciting. No, look. It, chest high walls everywhere. everywhere. Yep, Gears, Gears of Gears of Dead. Um, Gears of West. Uh, the other one I was going to say, Moonlighter, mm-hmm. which to me seems like a merchant slash roguelite slash adventure. Resetier two point basically. Yep. Okay. And that seems quite interesting. Um, I've never heard anyone call it that. What Resetier? I've never heard anyone say that that way. Pronounce it like that way. I mean, how- as a. As a as a soft C instead of a hard C. Yeah, I'm, I'm never quite sure. Like, I've, I've heard it both ways. So I was just like, well... I've never heard it as a soft um, C. That's fine. I just... Like, it took me a minute. I'm like, what? Reset error? No, no, no. I'm not talking about reset error ever. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, that's fine. Hidden Gems? Sorry, Cameron. Nah, it's all good. Uh, Hidden Gems, Katana Zero, which just hit Game Pass the other day. Yep, correct. Um, Slay the Spire. Yep, correct. Which I, really good things. Uh, Fer- I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. Ferrera or Windows 10? Ferrera Rocher. Ferrera Rocher? Yeah. Feria? Fer- yeah. Is it Feria? Feria? I think it's yeah. Feria, yeah. I would think Feria. Um, how? It's like turn-based... Time based... spin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're no, thinking no. of the game, not the game. No, no, I'm thinking of the game. I'm thinking of how to describe it because Katana Zero, like, you can go check it out. Uh, Slay the Spire is pretty good. But Time very zero is a side scrolling hotline, hotline Miami. Yeah, cool. Kind of. Yeah. Um, Slay the Spire. Uh, how would you just roguelike like with building roguelike? Yeah. Ferrera, Ferrera share, Um, turn based strategy? strategy game meets yeah. card game. Oh boy, it, that sounds nerdy I've, as hell. It was quite fun though, from what I played from it. Um, so hexagonal squares, card deck. Um, time Spinner. Time Spinner is great. Time Metroidvania. Spinner. Yes, like yeah. like um, basically Symphony of the Night, almost a hundred percent. Like they, like it's it's almost blatant how much they rip it off. I love it. And I yep. want to say Sacred Free seems to me like uh, Diablo claim. Yes, uh, although Man, very much more a- much more actiony than the previous titles, which were more sort of more on the RPG side. This is more on the action side. And the Hell Defense. No. No, no, no. Yeah, no. I'm thinking of a different game. Mm-hmm. No, um, I don't know what I'm thinking of that's like a Tower Defense hero shooter type thing. Uh, you're one. thinking of Sanctum. That's it. Maybe. Yeah, well, Sanctum 2. Same goes with uh, Goat Simulator. Sanctum 2. That's what yeah. I'm thinking yeah. of. Yeah. Awful. Awful, terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Sacred 3, pretty good. I played that on um, PC back in the day. Last thing I was going to mention is I want to say Dungeon of the Endless. Oh, yep. Yep. Which Great. seems quite enjoyable um and oh, you the, own that now I, I it's both stacks are in um both stacks are in my tag it's still in game pass oh okay good because i need someone to do the multiplayer with all right cool i'll do it like i definitely want to play more of that um slay this by is the only one i didn't really want to go back to just because it feels very like i want to play it more of it oh, it's hard but it's very hard to get like the only one i could get was ascension it's, which look, is it's doing custom. It's not that hard once you know the decks and what build you're trying to get and, and like 
okay, these are the first few cards. This is the deck I have to try and build. Yeah. Yeah. Like, once you understand the game, I'm sure it's... But being who we are, that doesn't happen. Yeah. So what you're saying, like my, what you're basically saying is get good. Yeah. Like, it, is, like it's a lot of learning. a quick resume game for me. Right. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Um, okay. Yeah, so... And there was something else I was going to say. I do not want to ever touch a Paradox game as, as long as I live. I have no idea what is going uh, on. Paradox, Hearts of Iron 4? Uh, Hearts of what? Iron 4, there was... Um, what else have they done? I want to say Endless... Uh, Europa, Endless Space 2? Yeah, probably. Uh, Stern, uh, Stern of Dallas. You enjoyed Endless <laughs> Legend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, look. Oh, Paradox... Really Change paradox can change my mind when they um you know just have all the mods come to the game. Yeah, com- console commands in every game. Yep, that's fine. I want to I want to say too. Mm. I'm pretty sure you um somebody said something about Euphoria Universalis Four having mods, but I think you need to buy the DLC, and it was something like absolutely ridiculously priced. Mm. It was. I know what side of the bread's buttered. Uh, the Empire Bundle is three hundred and fifty nine dollars ninety five, and as I have already mentioned um, in the uh, in the chat during the week on Discord, which you should always join. Uh, Panzer, what was it? Dragoon, Dragoon Order. Panzer Order, two and a half grand on the Microsoft Store. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of cash. Um, I'm pretty sure I was talking to Saul during the week, and Saul said, "Look." Instead of giving you like a whole of uh, fame prize, they should just shut the game for you. You could ask. Worst thing could say no. But... I mean, the worst they could say is to shut your <laughs> account down and tell you to shut up. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, and then past that, I just played Sea of Thieves with Brad last night. Just as a like, I just wanted to spend a few hours in the game, relax, not have to dive things every two seconds because, I mean, three hundred and twenty-five games in um. Like, nearly three weeks is mental. It's a lot. Welcome to a bean dive. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do many people do 325? I think I did 250 in a week last time. That's horrific. Okay. I'm the, I'm calling the police. I don't know. I can't understand how you people do this. That's, like, just... <sighs> don't worry. I'll get up to 32% in, like, two and a half years. Drop me, like, a whole 3%. Christ. It's my worst um, nightmare. I'm going to go next because I haven't been on for a while. Yep. Um, I'm j- as many of you know, the Hall of Fame has just ended a couple of hours ago. Um, so I'm going to just briefly talk about my bottom five, top five. Uh, bottom five first because negativity, you get it out of the way. We should talk, uh, I guess, kind of a visual novel but done slightly differently really awful like none of the, no, none of the choices matter mm-hmm. there's no really skip function so you just have to sit through these playthroughs I think they take like 15-20 minutes each Ugh. very little changes Is I think it? there's 8 endings you need to hit it's it's like 3 hours of so the story is you're at a bar um you have a girlfriend at home that you're texting an ex of yours who is out of town shows up and you talk to him for a bit and then some other random guy hits on you thinking that you are his date from an app but he's been stood up that that conversation lasts all of like three dialogue choices no matter what and then like you either tell him to basically essentially f off or yeah i'd be interested in you and he goes, oh, cool. And then he leaves anyway. So I'd like... Sounds quality. Like a, yep. That's, and that's... Yep, the X conversation goes about the same. You talk to him. Three or four choices and then go. And then most of the conversation is how you are talking to these people and talking to your current girlfriend about it. It's... It just doesn't feel like there was much life to it. Mm. Mm. And... Like visual novels can be good. This one wasn't. It's whatever. Uh, Word Sudoku, Sudoku by Paugi. Bad game, mainly because you can just change it to numbers anyway. So it's 
which essentially it's Sudoku but with letters. Yeah. But then one of the options is to change it to numbers. <laughs> so just regular Sudoku. So, so then it becomes regular Sudoku by Powergy. Yeah. But uh, there's solutions on the TA with uh, each of the words, um, and and how the board should look. It's very simple. Again, puzzle game. If you like Sudoku and wanted to play legitimately, I didn't because I was trying to get as many achievements as possible. Um, yeah, it could be fun. I don't know. Uh, Johnny Rocket. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That game is... I don't know if you talked about this. I did. I haven't talked about it, but it is rough. It is, it is bad. It is, rough. it is not long, and that's why it's like, wow, I shouldn't feel this bad about a game this short. Yeah. But it just... Oh man, it's it's like it's one of the most unpolished games I've ever played. Yeah, so you, it's side scrolling. There's like three levels, and there's a, I don't. Is there a boat bit? Is that there's a boat bit, and there's like a plane bit? I think. Uh, yeah, there's a plane bit. I know that bit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if the boat a bit might be thinking of a different game. I played a lot of games, but it's just like you walk from left to right shooting. A lot of times you get hit with damage that you can't see. Yeah, it's soft screen, and you don't have you you will get hit because and also the enemy shoots so fast that you can't dodge their attacks every time you jump yep. into their line of fire they'll hit you yep so I don't know how anyone would legitimately do the hard hardcore achievement where you have to beat the whole game essentially without getting hit except with like checkpoints don't know how anyone would ever do that legitimately but yeah um, not great not fun I would only recommend it because it is a relatively quick one mm. It is very, very... It's a very short game. It's three levels long, basically. Yeah. Uh, Clumsy Rush. It's like Fall Guys, but way less content. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a hippo. That's... That's it. Yep. Yeah, there's there's lots of different hippo costumes. Uh, I think 27 in all. But it's not... Yeah, no, there's... there's the, okay, uh, again, the most efficient way is to play the easiest level, which takes about 10 seconds to complete, and you just run forward with run con one controller, and then change characters every time there's a victory. Right. That's I, Maybe it's a good party game, but it's almost... The, the controls are almost too simplistic. Like, there's not enough nuance where there'd be any skill involved whatsoever. Right. So... Mm. Yeah. Uh, and... After Party. It's also in my bottom five. <laughs> Man, a little bit because it's my most recent and I didn't like it. And there's probably worse stuff, but the, this is what most recent in my memory. But uh, And we said it in the Discord. There's just like... The drinks... Over 30 devilish drinks. There's, there's advertised in the trailer. It was pumped up. They do very little. Yep. They do very little. They don't Mo affect. Most, like, I think, like, what, like, 22 of them do the, do the same thing. And then a couple of yep. them do slightly different dialogue options, but nothing that affects anything, basically. No. But it has no effect on any of the events that happen. Um, like, and you can see what personality you'll get from it. So the... the Funnily enough, the pirate themed drink makes you talk like a pirate, and Arr. yep. So it's really not much to it. There are three mini games. There's dancing, which is Simon. Yep. But at most four buttons. Um, there's beer pong, which is annoying. Just line up and line. Hmm. Yeah, it's annoying. I I did it against Wormhorn. Yeah, I think it was Wormhorn. Yeah. It took me like ten tries to get a perfect game, because um, again, you feel like you're doing the same thing and it just doesn't work. Yeah, it's it's, it's a um, physics game, so it's not. Yeah, yeah, it's a physics game where it doesn't feel like it's not it's the same every yeah. time. Yeah, and the uh, cup stacking game, which is which I misunderstood the first time. <laughs> I was trying to make a pyramid, right? Thinking that it would fall over. Yeah. Uh, no, it, you're just making a tower. So you're basically holding right trigger to drink a shot and then moving your analog stick to line up a glass above another glass that you've already placed to build a tower to a line. It's usually six. I think in the final boss, it's like probably eight or nine or yeah. something. Um, but that's it. And the, the, the glass one... The 
glass one never only matters once. Basically, the end of I don't think the end of the game. The end of the game. That's the only time it matters. Yeah. Uh, the beer pong one never matters unless you're looking for that achievement, basically. But yeah, except yeah. for that perfect achievement, and the dance one only matters. For I think for another achievement. Again, for an achievement, like that's that's. Lo- winning or losing has no effect for the most part, whatsoever. Yeah. It- Actually, I don't. Yeah, I don't know what would happen if um, you lost before, for example, Beth comes to Skull. I don't know what happens if you lose a dance competition. You just don't get the seal. I get, yeah. I don't know if you get another. I don't like. I don't know if you just get another chance at it. You just have to keep doing it till you win it. Yeah. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm not sure. It just yeah. Like it, it feels and, and like I talked about this in the Discord, but I think Oxen Free. You could potentially have similar complaints about it, but mm-hmm. Oxen Free was a much more narrative heavy game without any distractions. Um. Yep. Like that, you know, you it was it was essentially a walking simulator with some conversation options and some very very light puzzles, which kind of worked for it. But in this case, like th- this is essentially a very similar formula, but with you know the idea of uh, having you know puzzles and then these mini games and then conversation stuff, but none of it really paying off. I think is the problem. Uh, like except like I, I I kind of like how the ending goes and like is it kind of kind of went in a direction I wasn't as expecting. Yeah. But like outside of that, like I don't know. I just wasn't super impressed. I was because I was it's a real shame because I'm a huge fan of Oxen Free. Yeah. I mean, you find out you can find out why you died, how you died. Sorry. Yes. Which. I mean, it wasn't exciting. It didn't really do anything. Yeah, but I guess, like, I guess it's nice to know. Part of it, it part of the point of the game, though, is that it doesn't actually really matter all that much. Yeah, and I don't think you find out why you're in hell. So, because you, I think you basically get the option to ask one or the other. Oh, I, I only ever saw the one. I think. Um, no, you either don't find out how you died, or you find out how you died from Apollyon. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you either don't find out, or you do. Yeah. So you 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 died, you're in hell. You can find out. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But it, it kind of explains why you are connected in yes. hell. Yes. Yeah. But aside from that, it has no bearing on the gameplay. I don't think it changes ever, depending no. on your decisions. Um. Yeah, I don't think you find out why you're in hell. Why you're in hell, other than probably some dumb reason because someone was there because they always you uh, brought too many items in the fast lane in the grocery that's right yeah there store. was some really like to, like the humor is actually like the humor is like the one thing that i actually quite liked about the game like it like it, 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 it when it is funny it is it funny, is funny but that's a it, it it leans too heavily on you picking the funny dialogue options from the drink exactly yeah you you have to find the funny yeah um, I mean, that's a great moment, though, is, is you're condemned to whatever punishment because you always overuse the grocery line. But I only ever went when I had more than 15 items. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you're like, oh, oh, God, that's... But that was that was nothing. What? Yeah. So, really, you're in hell for... Pretty harsh, yeah. You weren't a perfect person. There, there are some f- funny reasons why people ended up there, and like and like, there's sort of stories, but, again, none of it really seems to pay off. They seem to be pretty one-note. Yeah. Um, moving on to the games I did enjoy. I will start from the bottom on the list. These are in no particular order. This is just how I wrote them. Uh, Lonely Mountains, Downhill. Uh, I didn't play a lot of it. It probably gets very hard, I'm sure, but... I did enjoy it. It was it was fun. I uh, will. It feels a little too sensitive on the deaths. Right. I feel like maybe you could probably give a little uh, give a little that it's a game and let me land from slightly further than maybe realistic. But it's, it's a simulator. Know, it's yeah, like it's it's fine. Uh, we'll see whether I get even close to finishing it. Probably not, but we'll see. Uh, Lost Wing. This was, I guess it's a it's a shoot 'em up, but you're traveling forward and obstacles are coming towards you. Um, and it's kind of there are three lanes, but you can sort of move. You like you don't jump to a lane. You move freely in between sort of the three lanes where obstacles are. 
you basically have to beat one boss and by the time you beat that boss and are sort of are good enough to beat that boss you'll have got all the other achievements pretty fun pretty short quite good uh reactor x is a puzzle game i did have a walkthrough up but i like I, as i was looking at it, i'm like oh yeah this is very obvious where this yeah the, 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 I, 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 you're probably in the same thing like as me was like, i was like watching the walkthrough and i was like how have you not figured this out yet i figured this out yeah. and i'm watching the yeah. video so i was like you know i'm just gonna try and figure it out myself yeah there were like two puzzles some of the puzzles where you need to color pieces yeah can be but for the most part it's pretty obvious what you need to color um so it's not really that difficult at all and i was like it was fun solving puzzle solving the most basic of puzzles by myself yeah made me feel accomplished my tiny brain uh zero strain is a i don't know if it's twin stick no it's not twin stick it's kind of you move around and it sort of locks onto a target as you're shooting oh okay um in in sort of a top down twin stick uh viewpoint yeah i was debating whether i was going to do this one because i'm not really a big schmuff guy it's pretty fun it's pretty short it's nowhere near as hard as it probably is made out to be there are a couple difficult parts but it's it's relatively easy i enjoyed it It it's fun again short because that's all i really did um did you uh, did you finish it last huh you finished it right yes okay yes, I did. there were some i didn't finish because it wasn't efficient so like in a 15 minute game getting 10 out of 11 in the first 10 minutes it was not efficient to go that extra five minutes for the last one gotcha. stuff like that yep, yep. um so we'll do a clean up at some point but finally leisure suit larry wet dreams don't dry it's yep i mean if you've ever played a leisure suit larry point and click game it's basically that but with sort of better graphics um it's it's 12 year old boy humor it's pretty funny um because i've been on it mentally that's where i'm at fair uh the puzzles are pretty standard stupid point and click where they don't like it you go why would that ever make sense all right sure why not kind of thing um but yeah no it's not bad it's it's uh, three to four hours with the guide pretty pretty easy pretty simple um again the story is kind of it it is humorous even when it goes a little bit too ham and and too too over the top it's like okay all right that's i see see the joke it's okay just settle down (laughs) it's good though um and i got oh that's why i got updated (laughs) it's like why did my stuff move i didn't see that bit down the bottom thanks whoever did that i got five and a half thousand this week um i did thirty eight thousand six hundred and twenty for the contest but i mainly focused on achievement so it was high achievement low game not low game score but more focused on the achievements and for that i got uh how did i do where am i 768 and i ended up in 20th not bad it's not bad mm-hmm. only 500 behind meth which is definitely a good number and the other guy I don't even see on the first page so that's good great all right cool. so i should theoretically i should have the lifetime achievement one unlock but we'll see how that pans out uh, matt how'd you go all right so uh, I, w- I won't go through all the stuff that i play because i played a lot as well um things i have been playing um i finished up bioshock 2 japan uh got the boosting done for that and ran through my last hard mode playthrough really good game but i'm so tired of playing bioshock i played so i played through it so many so many different bioshocks and so many different times again and again it's uh, there's always a man in the lighthouse you know and it's like it's, and it's always me i'm the man who's going into the damn lighthouse every time so yeah um, so that's done at least. The, I think the only one left I have is the um, the Korean version of two, but I don't know if I'll ever do that. I uh, also did uh, Unmechanical Japan, which was okay. Yep. Um, the only real annoying achievement is trying to get that three pointer, trying trying to th- throw that coal into the uh, into the furnace. Yeah, uh, I screwed it up the first the first six times, uh, and so I had to redo it. I was very upset about it, uh, and so I went back and did it, 
and I, I like I, I I got like the fourth one I threw it in, and then I was like, oh no, okay, I gotta restart, I gotta restart. So I back out to the dashboard, and then it pops. Like it was the most delayed pop in the world. I was I was yeah. yeah. Uh, but the rest of the game's fine. Uh, I also played Mako Tales, which is a side-scrolling platforming shooter. Uh, it's bad, like it's not good at all. But at least it's easy. The bosses are really annoying. Uh, I played some Hitman 2 to even out my game score a little bit. Uh, then I also played uh, Ben 10, Cameron's favorite game. Uh, yeah, I actually had a surprisingly okay time with it. Uh, the only real problems I had were the beating the bosses without getting hit. The problem is, is that instead of making, you know, like a regular game would have a level and then have a boss level that's a separate selectable level. These ones just, they put a boss after every two levels. And if you get hit once on the boss, you need to start the whole level again. So, not great. Um, I managed to do the last one in one try. The second one I managed to do in maybe five tries. And then the first one I had heaps of trouble with. Like, it took me like ten tries for some reason. Is the first one the clown? The clown with the spinning, yeah. I just couldn't quite get the timing right for it. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I got that done. Uh, and then that put me in perf- in a perfect position to do my uh, 1.5 million. What did you use? I used Mr. Wait. Misagi's... That's right, yes. Mayo Edition. What a terrible game. What a high-quality game. I was, it, was, it, was, it was the level of quality I would expect for one of my 100,000 games. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Xbox was nice enough to have me 10 under when I checked. Uh, because apparently one of the achievements for Mr. Misagi didn't count. On my total. Oh. Yeah. So I was sitting at, uh, yeah, so sitting at 10 points under, uh, 4, 4 point, uh, sorry, 1.49, 9990. Uh, so I was like, oh, that's great. Um, I think it's popped now, but I went and checked it. There's a method that you told me about, Kirby, around uh, checking your game collection and doing the total. And yeah, it turned out that I had definitely got it right. I, I was thinking that I'd miscalculated and that I was the dumbest person on earth. Uh, but it turns out there was just Xbox. Um, I am not quite sure if it's repopped now, but whatever. It's I got it. I've added it to my trophy case. It's done, and we all lived happily ever after. Uh, some of the other stuff that I've been playing lately, uh, I played a bit of Doom twenty sixteen. Got into a boosting session. Got about half the levels I need. I think I'm on like echelon four out of eight, nice. which is good. So I'm, I, it took me about three hours. If I do another sort of three or four hour session, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to get that game done. I still have to do the arcade mode achievements, which I'm not really looking forward to, but um, they're, apparently they're not too bad. A lot of people have done them. I, like, I, yeah, I think it took me an hour. Okay. Like, I don't think it was that bad. All right. Well, we'll see, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm not really a huge fan of the score attack stuff. Uh, I've been going back to Dirt Showdown, uh, trying to get this last multiplayer achievement. People who say that this was a 30, uh, sorry, 25 to 30 hour completion must have had full boosting lobbies and be getting a huge amount of points. Yeah. Because I'm boosting this, I'm idling it with my two Xboxes. Um, I've been leaving it overnight for the last two nights, and I've only just about maybe halfway through to level 29. So this is probably going to be closer to like a 50 to 60 hour completion for me. I was going to say, with Dirt Free, it took us having six people to get any decent XP. Yeah, that's the problem, is that so the, the XP scale is based on people. So doing it with just two is taking a very, very long time. And I'm looking so at. just my- buy a server farm. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't have all the, all the gaming time in the world, unfortunately, unlike yeah. some, some of our uh, hosts. Um, yeah, so I'm actually looking at it right now, and I've just been kicked for inactivity for some reason. So that's great. I've actually, I've got both of my Xboxes set up. They've got the uh, controllers, batteries taken out, uh, and I've got um, scrunchies holding down the right triggers so that they keep continuing to accelerate, so they don't get kicked. Uh, the game freezes like every, every now and then. Um, kicks for inactivity the game's a mess but i will get this yeah. done i got to get that achievement and then there's one for doing all of the different types of hits in the like what do you call it demolition derby mode so yeah. one of them's for like flipping a car over and hitting it underneath which is going to be a real pain but yeah i'll grind that out get it done and i'll finally be have that off my tag which would be good uh, and the other thing that i started was a knights of pen and paper plus one deluxia edition um it's a really simple game yeah. and like that's okay but i think it's actually too simple like it's the the, the conceit is that you create a couple of characters and you're essentially in a D session where 
you kind of play that you play both the dm and the character and that you set up the scenarios of who you want to fight and how difficult they're going to be uh and then you fight them and then you gain levels and you level up your characters and just move from quest to quest but there's no it, like it's very heavy on the tropes i the combat is obviously because there's a scalable difficulty is basically mindless the only difficult achievement really is one that you have to finish the game in a, under a certain amount of days every time you do an action it takes up a day so there's a way to do it where essentially if it, once you finish the game your gold carries over to any new profile that you start so you can essentially speed run the game is the idea but other than that like it's just kind of bash it's it's a literal war of attrition where you're essentially just sitting at a table uh I, i'm i don't know maybe if i was just playing it on my own i'd kind of be okay with it the, the walkthrough has like you know like min maxing strats to get through it as quickly as possible which is fine but i don't know i'm not really enjoying it all that much i thought i'd enjoy it more than i do uh we'll we'll see if the second one improves it but I, i'm probably about i've got like two or three achievements in it and it'll probably take it's like a 25 hour 20 to 25 hour completion i think okay. so we'll we'll see we'll i'll probably i'll report back probably in a week or two on on how i'm going with that but yeah, that puts me at uh 13,415 for the week and 55,980 for the contest overall Oh, yeah. Um, which puts me, I think, in fourth for New Zealand. Uh, the guy in first, like, came out of nowhere and ended up at, like, 100. So, we'll see. Uh, but I'm, I'm quietly hopeful. Who, who was the guy in first? Uh, Mr. Scuds. Scudsy. Scudsies or something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I've never heard of him. Just showed up out of nowhere. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, again, I wasn't really going for the... Um, the, the contest stuff I was more looking for the lifetime achievement stuff lifetime achievement a game score so I'm hoping that I win yep. one of those um, you were looking for a monument I mean look I, I would be shocked if you didn't get yeah. one of the two me I, I would also be shocked but stranger things have happened yeah uh, that one guy who ran the contest is gonna get it right yes yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. that one yeah well, did you did you complete Virtual Tennis two in this? Yes, no, this yeah, game? no, I, I didn't. I, I didn't play Sonic's All Stars exactly. Every time I try to win a console for launch, I just it's the curse that just keeps on giving. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's me. I'm I'm probably gonna tone it back a little bit because I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty burnt out. Like that's a lot of games, uh, and most of them were bad. Yeah, yeah. I just need to make it through this period of G task, and then I'm. Like I'm, I have stuff I'm gonna do, but it's I'm going take to be a break. Low numbers. Yeah, take a break. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> it was just it was really awful timing for GTAS to show up with. Uh, yeah, not great. With yeah. All the things I'm like, oh good, I've put up twenty two thousand gamer score for for two thousand true achievement difference. Nice. Yep. Nice. Yep. <laughs> cool. I think would think was Shadow got what twenty eight achievement difference for all of his games that he played. Yep. Yeah, I bowed out quickly. Like I, I mean, like what? How how was I going to stay in G Task playing the first achievement of every game? I mean, look, I got press ganged into G Task. I did not want to be the only person on the team who's still in the thing by the end of it. All right, I don't want to be the last person. Well, then you had better get yourself eliminated next week. Yeah, that's true. Actually, I yeah. used my bonus in solo. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Literally, it rolled over and went, oh, cool, bonus Click. done. <laughs> yeah, great idea. Like I said to Mike Valak and that the other day, just like, look, it's all about winning winning the better hoodie. Yes, yet for Shadron. <laughs> oh, savage. Uh, yeah, Cameron and... Because Re, Recalc has just hit. Cameron is at negative 63. Alex is at 70. You're at zero. Yep. And I'm at 543. <laughs> Perfect. It's okay. I'll just I'll just do a, a whole bunch of Age of Empires achievements no, and scroll no, through. Oh, like, bonus! <laughs> don't no. Shh, don't talk about Age of Empires. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah, you, sh- you shut your mouth. I, you I'm the mouth only one, person on this three. podcast that would talk about that game. Yeah, it was fine. But you talk shut about it later. Until week three's done. Okay. You shut up. Okay. Uh, moving on to the sales. There's a relatively big sale. Mm. Um, mm, do some, some games. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good sales, pretty cheap stuff. We will go into Gamer Score Games, uh, 6180 The Moon, 50% off, $1.99. Doodle Games Collector's Bundle, which I assume. It's Evolution is... and Crime City together. Yep. Yep. $7.42. Uh, 
Aaliyah, 90% off, dollar twenty nine. Fearful Symmetry and the Cursed Prince, again, 90% off, 49 cents. I, I honestly shouldn't have to say this anymore because you should all own this game. If you don't at this point, like, just do it. Th I feel like you maybe have a problem with spending money, and that's a bigger issue that you should get looked at. Uh, Glass Masquerade, 75% off, $2.99. Never Alone Arctic Collection, which includes the DLC. 80% off, $3.59. Hard Cube, 50% off, $3.49. Man, I wish I didn't waste, although it would have been too late anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, actually, I played through that this week as well. That's, yeah. uh, that's, um, that's a game. Yep. Uh, Inferno 2 Plus, 50% off, $2.49. Machinarium, 60% off, $5.99. Rememoried, 80% off, $2.99. Ultra Hat Dimension, 35% off, $4.84. We're seeing how quickly Cameron can add things there was, while I'm there was one. There was one other that I can't find now that Old I know Old Man's Journey, 50% off, $7.47. That's all of them. That's everything in the sale. Nothing there, there, else is quick. There, Sorry. There's, there's something else for 15 bucks that I saw before uh, that had a one-hour completion. Too expensive, I, I don't care. There's a lot of easy uh, stuff on the sale this week. There's like... There's, um, yeah, definitely worth having a look there's heaps there's heaps but again we're not going to talk about all of them because there's no point in us listing them all out but go check out the sale if you're looking for some easy points after the Hall of Fame yeah. thanks Microsoft <laughs> I, know, right? I mean I had all but one of those before going into it but still um, okay Matt what do you recommend uh, so I'm going to recommend the stories Path of Destinies and Omen Sight Bundle 75% off thanks, $7.49 I haven't played Omen Sight yet, but Cameron talked about it so lovingly that I decided it's, to steal his recommendation. It's definitely in my top five, maybe top three for this year. Okay, but it's, it's on my list for sure. Okay. All right, I presume this is you, Cameron, despite you not being able to write your name. Yeah, that's exactly it. Um, I'm recommending Battlefield Five Standard Edition, 70% off for $21. Is it in uh, EA Play? Yeah, that's a good question. Don't know if it is yet. I don't think so, yeah. Um, me and Alex did this. Uh, quite enjoyable. The only thing we had trouble with was the manned turrets. It is. Oh, it, it is. is. Okay. okay. Which means Get. in November it will be in Game Pass as well. All or right. Game Pass then Ultimate because it's included with EA Play. Wait till November. Play that. Play Timefall 2. Um, I will recommend... Play any... Fair. Huh? In uh, EA Play. I'm pretty sure it's in EA Play. Fair... I recommend Vampire for seventy five percent off for fifteen bucks. Great one, which is a good yeah, game that I need to get back to. Is in EA Play as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. See, Matt knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, I have. I've, I've, I've no idea started it. I, me too. I'm like four achievements in. Apparently, it's easy. I should go back. To yeah, it. me too. Um, I am recommending Drawful Two sixty percent off three dollars ninety nine. Easy achievements. Also, really stupid fun. Hmm. To play with people, mm -hmm. yeah, genuinely is because actually drawing. The thing is, it, it's amazing if you are terrible or if you are too good at drawing. Because if you're terrible, you get really bad answers that could all be the answer because it's so bad the drawing. Or if it's too good, you get all answers that are exactly the same basically because it's too good and people are like, well, I definitely know what that is. But great game, lots of fun. Uh, yeah, 60% off, $3.99. I presume these are Cameron's purchases here. Uh, yep. I just realized, too, I bought Inner Space like a week and a half ago, and now it's down 75%. God damn it. Yep. Hall of Fame. That'll get you. Yep. That's where they make the money. Um, what did I recommend? I can't remember. Uh, what did you I say? You recommended... No, 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 sorry. Uh, what am I picking up? House Flipper. Uh, sounded yeah. interesting. So... Might pick that up, but saying that there's a lot of Game Pass games that I'm probably going to go back to now. Yeah. Uh, and the other one was YouTubers uh, OMG. Ugh, no. Mm, yeah, I don't know. No, mm, maybe. Absolutely not. Yeah. House Flip is probably a definite, though. Cool. Yep. Um, and I am looking to purchase. See, I was going to get Sword Art Online, the new one. Which, oh, yeah, I've already got that. <laughs> I'll need the deluxe edition. <laughs> course because i assume the content coming out will have achievements just um so i'm just not game show it's Adrian. too expensive it's now uh i'm definitely getting a peaky blinders mastermind because that'll be so fun I, I enjoy the show and this i'm sure 
will be exactly like the show and be just as good Quality as title. the show. 110% definitely. How, how, how many times are they going to try and cray, um, cram Red Right Hand in there in different acoustic versions? More more than you should. Possibly overlapping each other at the same time. Oh, um, Nick Cave must was, be so happy. It's going to be so good. Uh, there was that one. Oh, there was two more. There was that. So many easy completions. In this oh, scene. look. Ooblets. Ha. No. Is that, is that actually oh, coming out? It's out. Is it? Oh, okay. I think. Oh, no. It's in. Yeah, no. It's in preview. Oh, preview. It's in preview. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Don't don't support them. Don't do it. Uh, damn, I had it. So, Mars Power Industries Deluxe. I think I actually already bought that. Uh, like this in this sale in Australian dollars uh, no can't find it but there's like three oh yeah Emma Lost in Memories which I don't know what it is but it's ch- cheapish and the game <laughs> this, this, if you don't know this by now that's basically all the criteria that I need it's pretty disgusting so, yeah. yep right. yeah but uh, no good good looking sales as for new games, I did have that up. Where did I have it up? I d- did I close it? Really? What a lunatic! <laughs> there was not many new games that I w- thought was worth mentioning. Uh, real quick, boop, 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 boop. there is a double pug switch. Don't know what it's about. It's good. It's a puzzle platform a- called a- double F- pug F- switch. It's got pugs in it. It's fun. Yeah, pick it Lord up. Lord of the Click. Why not? Clicker Heroes, probably. Oh, God. Sure. Uh, Cobra Kai, the Karate Kid saga continues. Yes. Oh, God. Okay. The Blue Coats, North and South. That remaster comes to Yep, out. great. Fantastic. <laughs> yep. Uh, Ghost Runner, which I think is actually legitimately possibly a good game. Mm. I think uh, uh, All In Games and 505, so like the moving out guys. Oh, okay. Are doing it. Looks, from what I hear, it's relatively interesting looking. Yeah. Other than that, not too much. Uh, we will move on to a question. Oh, do we have three hours? We do. That's fine. Next question. Okay. Uh, Isaac has, has emailed in, and I'll let you guys go before I go because this, yeah. this is definitely going to be the knee portion of the show. Uh, which microtransactions are worse, loot boxes or card packs? And what is the most egregious example of each in a game? Everyone remembers Alex's difficulties with card packs, but has either impacted anyone else? Like, they're the same. Yeah, I was going to say, they're, they're essentially just a reskin, is the thing. They're yeah. just presented differently. Yeah. So what's the least, worst loot boxes you, either of you have experienced in games, whether you've purchased them or not? I I really can't think of any of such Whether they... I feel like, just from talking about it, Shadow of War is pretty... Was they? T- I, I mean, they took them all was, out, but they took them out and had to rebalance. The <laughs> exactly, which says everything, says, really. That says a lot. Um, I, I mean, I, I mean added after release, so that they're not featured in the reviews. Um, terrible. I was going to say Odyssey with the XP. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Again, added after the fact, so that yeah. it wasn't mentioned in the reviews or on yeah. the box art or anything like you didn't have to have that warning yeah real dodgy but i mean the, there's the one that there's the gift that keeps on giving is neverwinter um i mean that's yeah. a free-to-play game but like i've i've put money into it like i'm i'm mm-hmm. like I, I can't i can't lie like I've, I've put a fair amount into it over the i mean i've been playing it for a long 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 time now yeah but and would you say you've enjoyed it um actually would you say you've got your money's worth um yeah i would say so at this point um i mean like to be fair if i looked back at how much i'd spent and probably maybe not but like <laughs> like i'll it, it, when zen goes on sale for example like i'll usually buy like one of the large packs of it just to have the currency ready for if anything comes up later but i tend to yeah, hold yeah. on to it um yeah but yeah i, I mean the, like because because they have the microtransaction stuff and then they have the loot boxes as well like it's yeah. it's they get you they get you everywhere they can on that um mm. they like the loot it's the same thing where you find the loot boxes as regular drops but you gotta pay for keys um yeah. 
I so I pay for the VIP. Like I have a VIP subscription that I just buy a year at a time, basically. Um, that gives me a, a key every day that I log in. So it's not a major because like I always have a key that I can always open a box if I want to. And I've just mm-hmm. again between content, I always log in every day just to get my key. So when I actually do want to open some boxes, I can open like three hundred of them at a time to actually maybe get something useful. Uh, having said that, like they like every update they do changes the game usually for the worse. Uh, I mean, it, it, in in between all their balance patches and changes to systems, there's usually something to get people to spend to buy more currency or to spend more of the in-game currency to to basically you know spend it on the in-game store so it essentially gets pulled out of the economy. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a mess, and I've I I, I like I haven't I've, I've been very very lucky in that I've I've fallen in with some guilds especially recently who have been very very high level like uh, so the guild that i've joined never whatever shout out if you guys are listening i always always shill the show whenever i'm on uh, within a raid with those guys um yeah they have been super super helpful at, at, at getting me into content that i'm like chronically under leveled for and helping me get like up geared without spending serious amounts of cash um so like there are ways around it but you need to have people who are really really good who have basically spent the money already Spent the money or spent the yeah. time. And the thing is, like, I just don't have time for that game. I have two achievements left in that game. Like, I never mm. thought I'd get to that stage where, like, one of them is to finish the, the current challenge, which is really difficult. And one of them is to finish the previous challenge without dying, which is even more difficult. But, mm-hmm. like, I am with... Like, I know they'll put up more content. You can see the light. I can see the light. And I'm, like, I'm actually catching up, which I never thought I'd be able to do. So... Um, I mean, we'll get to a stage where... Then you should run me through it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Done. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm... Level six. Yeah. Oh, perfect. That's... I'm probably I'm probably worse off than that. Yeah. That was, God, that's terrible. Um, yeah, but like, I, I like to think that it's, it's not been a major, and I try not to go into the loot box stuff too much. Like, I tend, I tend to... Again, with me playing older games and not play, you know... The games coming out in the last five years are just kind of rotten with this stuff, and the re- I haven't you know I haven't basically bought a game from this year for the most part. So going back to older games that are complete and don't have a lot of the stuff, it's really it's refreshing to actually just be able to play a game and just be done with it and and not have to worry about like having to dip into my my uh, my wallet every time something doesn't work out for me or, or I run into a barrier. Um. So yeah, I, I like to think I try to keep it at arm's length. I mean, Neverwinter is the one exception, but even then, like I'm, that's a very rare occurrence for me, uh, because I know that it's again, I'm, I'm, you know, my, my borderline obsession with achievements. I have a very addictive personality. I know what that kind of stuff would potentially do to me. I, I know that I'm yeah. susceptible to that. Yeah, fair enough. Um. So I'll, I'll go into... Uh, first, I'll start this off with that. Rocket League does loot boxes very well, or did loot boxes when it had them very well because there was an option where I could turn it off. And then I just forgot about them. Like, I genuinely just forgot they were a thing because they weren't popping up saying, like, you've got a loot box, you need to get a key to unlock it. Like, it wasn't... It Literally everything related to them turned off. Yeah. And I forgot all about them, that they existed. Um... Aside from that, and I know I've, I've, know I've mentioned it on the podcast before. I don't know into what depth, um, so we will get a little bit real. Uh, I had a huge, huge issue with uh, Overwatch and Overwatch loot boxes. Um, I essentially had two accounts, one for Australia and one for when I played uh, in Korea on the Korean servers because they were doing stuff in terms of gameplay and like the meta was so different that you would learn things and bring it back to Australia and it wouldn't work because the Australia doesn't want to play by those rules but like the, the meta was very interesting there so I had two accounts um, where I did want everything on both of those accounts and <coughs> I, I would purchase the loot boxes and I would do the gambling and get the stuff and I probably spent with events and stuff as well, trying to get all the event items, I probably spent across both accounts somewhere in the range of high four, low five digits. Um, that's Australian dollars, so I don't know what it would have been in US, probably a bit less, but 
it was a lot of money it i have issues with gambling and this triggered it really well it it does get those endorphins going like a slot machine it's the lights and the sounds and and everything is really really attractive in the way that it's presented um and it did i mean it did cause issues it would there would be times when i would go okay i'm gonna buy another 50 loot boxes and we'll ration my meals to a meal a day and then see what see if there's a morning tea at work that i can eat eat lunch at or something like that um not proud of it proud that i, I mean i i had to see someone to break the addiction and i don't can hot for the life of me i could never play overwatch again i don't trust myself to do it um but it's it's it is why also i choose loot boxes as the hill i choose to die on um because it's it's had a drastic effect on my life and and it's it's a strange feeling knowing it's the wrong decision but being unable to stop yourself making it yeah Yeah. knowing that i'm gonna be struggling if i do this but i am going to do this and that's like I, that I will choose to do this rather than not be putting myself in into a hole um, luckily it was all none of it was credit card debt or anything so I've never had credit card debt because mm. probably didn't earn enough to get it get given a credit card thank God but um yeah it was it was very difficult and it's it's also why I'm tentative when I play games that may have loot boxes. I, I, I do put a bit of research into how it's presented and how often you're poked with the loot box to see whether it's you know something you essentially it, it, if it's in your face I, I most likely avoid it um, if it's if I feel I can handle it I and it's a game I want to play like if it's a game I'm only vaguely interested in that has them I'll just I won't bother because I, I kind of have to really want to play the game to be also be able to put up with whatever is being thrown in my face. It's also why I never did the FIFA Ultimate Team stuff. Never went into that side of things. And never, thank God, because I can guarantee the same thing would have happened. I always only ever treated it as a single-player game. Um, but yes, I, I have been very affected and impacted by this. It's affected friendships, family relationships, personal life. I... Yeah. It, I don't like loot boxes. <laughs> it's a, yeah, I don't... I can't think of much mm. else super to, to talk about. But that's that was a dark time in my life that we've moved on from, and this is why I don't like loot boxes. 100%. I will still make fun of Alex, though, for his <laughs> inability to get whatever card he needed. The resupply card, yeah. Yep, that one. Well, it, the minute he put some cash into it, it suddenly worked. What a yeah. surprise. What, what a surprise. Yeah, what a surprise. Milestones. We're starting off with Achievements 1. Hatton 90 has reached 6,000. Philip Wendell has 11,000. Ghostly Shinobi <coughs> has 13,000. Seamus McLimey has 16,000. Ahazo has 21,000. And Wakapale and Prue both have 27,000. Nice. Uh, Gamer score. Fisto Roboto has 150,000 game score. This is a big category. Lots of people got game score. Surprisingly enough. I was going to say, it's just, yeah, the numbers have the been punch jumping. Card. I know, it's crazy. Uh, LA Jester has 200,000. Fight Club has 250,000. Level 6 Vegan has 250,000. Ben L72 has 300,000. Cavaliers 07 has 300,000. Elephalette 77 has hit 350,000. Shadowless Edge and P TX has four hundred and fifty thousand. Enigma Gamer seventy seven has five hundred thousand. People like seven sevens. Sevens everywhere in people's names is ridiculous. a lot of sevens. Yeah. 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 Mad Mike Forever has six hundred thousand. Planting forty two has eight hundred and fifty thousand. I recently hit one million and fifty thousand. Thrash Forever has one point four million, and Neo Master has one point five million gamer score. 
Nice. <sighs> TA score. <laughs> Surprisingly not as meant like... Uh, to be fair, that's not really like... surprising with the low ratio stuff people have been playing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> what, what, yeah, one point I, zero one. I was going to comment that we got no ratio milestones. Yeah, that, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Uh, TA score, Matoy13 has 200,000 true achievement score. Nate Dog Sniper has 300,000. Hawkeye Barry20 has 500,000. Ghostly Shinobi has 600,000. So does J Black with his 600,000. Ben L72, 700,000. ZZ Urban Spaceman, 900,000. McLovin Legend 1 has 1.1 million TA score, and Waka Power has hit 1.6 million TA score. Uh, as for games played, Crunch Flake hit 500, Shadowless Edge hit 1,000, Thrash Forever hit 1,750, and I hit 2,000. How is he 400,000 ahead of me with 250 less games? Yeah. How dare he complete He's games? ridiculous. How dare he? Uh, speaking of completed games... Aftos has completed 100. Yay! Good for you, buddy. Mm. Hall of Fame definitely helped for that. I, I know you were pushing. He was pushing real hard. He got his, he got his 10 mm. for his uh, his 10,000 points. I and now he's enjoying the Odyssey. Punch card. Oh, mate! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I probably I, did I the same thing. <laughs> and went, oh. Yeah. No, I, Ripped that's, yourself that's off fine. 10 bucks, buddy. I did. I lost 10 whole dollars. I, yeah don't care i don't care enough i wish i'd known <laughs> to activate it at the start but no. it is what it is uh enigma gamer 77 has completed 200 mark b has completed 200 hawkeye barry 20 has completed 200 eliphalet 77 has completed 300 and buck marley 155 has completed 400 uh, we do have a few completion percentage milestones whispering clown has hit 60 percent eliphalet 77 has hit 60 percent uh, Matty L twenty two L and Calevra have both hit seventy five percent. Streaks. Seamus McLimey is in a four year achievement streak, achievement win streak, and Wakapel is on a seven year achievement win streak. And for leaderboards, Wakapel is in the top fifty for TA uh, true achievement score for collection games, and also the number one in Sweden for completed games. So congratulations, everyone, to all your milestones. Uh, shout out. I will give a shout out to something that we are doing in conjunction with Bills from Achievement Land and I'm sure that almost all of you will know his voice because I guarantee you have used a guide don't lie to me and say you didn't, don't lie to me I know you have uh, Bills from Achievement Land is teaming up with us to give away an Xbox Series X it is on his Twitter so if you go to the at Achievement Land Twitter or the at Real Game Score Twitter you will see the tweet and the gleam contest um go sign up there's like last i checked there was 1300 entries it's one day in ends in 21 days but you know what not even a day in not even a day in you miss like half the shots that you don't want to do that's yeah that's the quote so do it just just do it i mean you you're almost certainly already following us so give us a give us a follow you make a little tweet it's cool um, follow, subscribe to Bills on YouTube and follow him on Twitter. They, y- you almost certainly already have because you use his guides. I know you do. Don't lie to me. I know you do. We all do. Um, but yeah, so that'll be finished November tenth, launch day. Uh, winners announced and will be contacted to get address. Um, if you do win and you're a podcast listener, I'm shipping it from the middle of nowhere. So just give me some slack when. I've t- keep pestering me I'll try to do it as soon as possible but I'm also sending it from the middle of nowhere so I'll send you shipping details it might take a while because that's again not only because of COVID killing stuff but also it's got to go from me probably to Sydney or Melbourne probably sit in quarantine for two weeks I mean, that's because basically, that's basically a trip to Antarctica right there if you get it before Christmas be happy You, you I, I mean you should get it before Christmas but I can't guarantee it and like, and that's what I feel bad is I know I'm going to be the one sending it. So someone's going to be like, I didn't get my prize. I didn't. I'm like, no, you did. I sent it. Trust me, you'll get it. Just just wait. It's coming from the desert. Get, get your tracking number. I put, I put it on the camel. I swear. Put it on the camel. Console shows it's very trustworthy it's looking. Box. Yeah. Yeah. But no, that's... Yeah, take your shot. Why not? 
What's the worst going to happen? You're not going to win. No big deal. Yeah. Okay, uh, that seems to be wrapping up episode 112. So if you'd like to contact the show and send in a question, you can do so through our email, hello at realgamerscore.com, through our Twitter, which we've already plugged, at realgamerscore, in the Discord, discord.io slash realgamerscore, in the podcast questions channel, or on Patreon, patreon.com slash realgamerscore. Write in questions to the show. We will answer them. We will try not to get as real as we did with Isaacs, but... You know, you send in real questions, we give you real answers. This is my life. I mean, this is a real gamer score podcast. Yeah, that's that's my life. It's you either you're either with me, or you're against me, and dead to me. <laughs> that's how it works, right? That, yeah, that, again, me, that's, also, that's, that's also exactly it as well. You, you're on fire today. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> Um, if you want to help out the podcast in other ways you can do so by subscribing to us on whatever platform you're listening to I did sign up to a couple others so hopefully we should be on Google Podcasts and like nice. the number one podcast thing in India so any new Indian listeners hit us up um, what else we did a couple Android ones and I think we're on Amazon Podcasts hopefully oh, cool. I'm not sure I gotta double check that uh, uh, it went through properly but do so awesome leave a review word of mouth tell your friends every boosting session just play the start of an episode or the what we've been playing or the news or whatever it'll be great will be awesome retweet us on twitter it's kind twitter's kind of blowing up right now because of the giveaway so yeah. it's cameron is like turning on his phone i i am completely stressed out like, immediately <laughs> it's like it oh cool 30 new notifications in the space of like 15 minutes great yeah, the worst I had to deal with was Trivi just um, harassing. Sorry, yeah. yeah, DMs are open. DM him. It's fine. Uh, subscribe <laughs> to us on YouTube. Give us money on Patreon. We say this every week, but we could not do the show. We would not want to do the show without you guys. You guys are the lifeblood, and we appreciate every single dollar you give to us. Uh, individually, Cameron. Uh, shadowless, shadowless Space Edge on Xbox. Um, I mean, I admin the Xbox Achievement Community on Facebook, and you pretty much just can find me in the Discord whenever, or in the Twitter under Real Gamer Score, which I'm probably going to vacate pretty soon because you guys are crazy and like just you, just you can't resist anything. Posting the memes, don't tell me that. I know you you love that Twitter account. Don't you even... get an Xbox and you get an Xbox and. I Actually, can't guarantee only one of you gets an Xbox, and only if you <laughs> enter through the link. So, so it's so not like, like Oprah at all. <laughs> no, it's Oprah, but without the pra. <laughs> oh, oh. Look, okay. we'll, we'll make we'll make you a deal. Anybody that email, uh, anybody that messages me can win a free picture of an Xbox Series X. That's very kind of you. Thank you, yeah. Matt. Where can we find you? Uh, nowhere. No? Okay. okay. All right. Uh, no. Hold He's on. He's gone in hibernation. Matt can be found at uh, throwback time. Matt can be found at negative forty-five point zero three three and one sixty-eight point six six. Don't tell him where I'm going on a holiday, mate. Next to the next, if, if, you, you, want... if you hit the big Series X, you've gone too far. I was, I was, I was going to say, don't you want people taking photos of the monument? I mean, yeah, I hope, hope, <laughs> I, yes, I'll, I'll be there for the grand unveiling of my monument. Yes. Take, take a really? photo of Matt because he certainly isn't going to take a photo of you. It'll be, it'll be the yeah. least awkward time I got an erection in public. <laughs> yeah, really, really <laughs> uncomfortable that the only photo they had of you was like you getting dressed that one time yeah like, I don't know how they got window. that photo but yeah um, look that's what they used that's what the they used like, like it was supposed to be a surprise and it really was yeah uh, but otherwise Neo Master on everything cool. piece of toast in your mouth <laughs> getting dressed on the go to get to work um, and I can be found on Twitter I almost said Facebook don't find me on Facebook you creep you don't want that in your life uh, all, all I get is Xbox Live, service. Discord, TrueAchievements.com, um, Twitch. Professor Pluto 1. Probably. <laughs> yep. What? Professor Pluto 1, what? right? That's your Twitch? Yeah, Professor Pluto 1 on Twitch and all the other platforms at Chin Doctor, C H I N D O C T A. And yeah, just chat, chat me up. Chat me up, I'm single. ASL. Yeah. 
He doesn't actually care about any of those oh. things. He's just trying to. He's just fishing for your personal information. I just want to make sure it's legal. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't want to jail again. Yep. Uh, yeah. Good episode one hundred and twelve. Then thanks for that, Matt. On that note, we will we'll leave. Yeah, forever. We're done. Yep. All right. Uh, see you, everyone. Bye. Peace. <laughs>